A bag contains rupees 600 in the form of 1 rupee, 50 paise and 25 paise coin in the ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 12. The number of 25 paise coin is how many? You're given four options over here. Let's try and visualize the situation. Okay, so let's say this is a big bag that you have. Okay, this has mainly three buckets. One, two, and maybe three. Okay, you are told that these three buckets basically have one rupee coin. One rupee is basically equal to 100 paisa. You have 50 paisa coin. And you have 25 paisa coin. And the ratio of these coins is given as 3 is to 4 is to 12. Now this ratio is given in terms of numbers. Right? The number of 25 paisa coin which is this is how many? Now you know how what is the number of coins which are there but can you find out I mean this number is not comparable why because the values are different so let's say three coins of 100 paisa each will have a value of 300 paisa right four coins of 50 paisa each will have 200 paisa as value whereas 12 coins of 25 paisa each will have 300 paisa as value Right, so this ratio is not comparable. I mean, while then in terms of numbers, obviously it is there, but in terms of values, it is not comparable. So first, the first thing that we need to do is, if the number ratio is three is to four is to twelve, can we granularize this? What I mean by granularizing is, can we convert this into rupee term? So if this was in rupee term, what is the number or the value which is there now three rupees is going to remain remain as a ratio of three if because why because 100 paisa constitutes one rupee so we'll divide it only by one four coins of 50 paisa each now how many coins of 50 paisa will form one rupee obviously two coins so we will divide this by two and what will we get we'll get the number of rupees right Similarly, 12 coins of 25 pesa. How many coins of 25 pesa make 1 rupee? 4 coins. So we'll divide this by 4. So we get 4 divided by 2, 2. 12 divided by 4, 3. Now basically what we have reached a situation is we have the proportion in terms of values which are there in terms of rupees. Now it is comparable. This was not comparable. Why? Because it was given in the form of numbers. Right? And the numbers were not comparable because 12 number of coin is different from four half rupee coin is different from three rupee coin right but now we have a consistent thing in terms of the value over here three is to two is to three what do we need to find out we need to find out the number of 25 paise coin right so the value of 25 paise coin is how much it is three divided by how much 3 plus 2 plus 3 right earlier I couldn't have done this as 12 divided by 12 plus 4 plus 3 for the simple reason that this 4 is not comparable to this 12 is not comparable to this 3 right or 3 by 8 into 600 right this goes to knock off 75 3 times 75 gives you 225. So the value of 25 paise coin is 225. What is the question asking you? The question is asking you the number of 25 paise coin. So the number is how much? If it is 225 rupees value, right? In 1 rupee, how many four, 25 paise coin are there? There are 4 coins, right? So into 4, 900. And that is going to be your answer. Are you with me why I went through this entire procedure? You are given the ratio of the number of coins as 3 is to 4 is to 12, right? But we can't rely on this. Why? Because when we talk about 12 coins of 25 paise, the value is only 3 rupees. These numbers are not comparable amongst each other. Why? This coin is not equal to this, is not equal to this. So first, we put these things in terms of a common value. And number obviously cannot be common, so we put it in terms of rupee. 
Once we get the ratio in rupees, we find out what is the value in number of rupees for the 25 paise coin. And once we get this value of 225, then we know that each rupee has 4 coins of 25 paise. So we multiply it by this to get 900. I hope you would have understood this. Thank you for being with us today.